I'll be honest, I never got to see episode 6 of MTV's Washington Heights. This is episode 6, so... What is it, episode 6? It's episode 6 or 7. Because by the time the episode went through, I was busy trying to fix my sleeping pattern, so I slept through it. And I'm not ashamed of doing so. Because when I asked the people who were watching the show in that room I was supposed to watch it, being my mother and my bro, how the show was, they weren't amused by it. They basically said it was back to the old problems, back to it being about Frankie and Ludwin, which, by the way, I fucking hate. However, they did mention it was, and I noticed for a fact that there were some scenes about Jimmy and Eliza, which I feel is a more interesting relationship because Eliza holds it down for Jimmy, but she can be a little bit of a borderline histrionic sociopath. There's something socially off about her, but... I would classify her as a good girlfriend, and Jimmy's making the sacrifice. He doesn't want to make the sacrifice, but he feels like he's going to have to to pursue his dreams. Head off to the university to for the sake of his career as a baseball player. I think it was in Miami. And that university is good for sports. I think The Rock was in a university around Miami. Yeah. But this ain't about wrestling, though. So far, I think that Jimmy and Eliza have a more interesting relationship because even though both characters are boring, they both have this emotion about them. Eliza, with her sociopathic crocodile tears that she loves to shoot and... Jimmy's frustration, and he does have a temper problem that he's trying to control. As for Frankie trying to make Ludwin jealous and it kind of succeeding, if I knew anything about the show, it'd be that nothing goes anywhere. It basically already is episode 6 or 7, and it's still in that how's Ludwin bullshit. In fact, let me count which episode this is. Dude, just for shits and giggles, let me see. I don't want to see this in here. I don't want to see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is episode seven. And you see? When, once you. Miss an episode, everything becomes more hard to calculate and shit like that. But, with that being said, I saw a photo from one of my Facebook friends, and she took a photo with Ludwin, which kind of makes me feel like an asshole, because I know I'm going to meet these people in real life eventually, since they are from the Heights. They are from where I go around sometimes, and... I've been talking shit about each and every one of them. Hell, I've been talking about Audubon, too, and he's my favorite one. Talking to these people like their characters, but... This is the thing. On the comment section, one girl said, Ooh, I don't like Ludwin. And then everyone's like, why? He, he just seems so fake to me, and plus he's not that attractive, which... Alright. I could understand that. Everyone was saying, but he has so much style. And then I realized that this is what this show is about. This show is about, like I said before, with the rooftop parties and the fashion. This is basically a show that MTV is using to appeal to hipsters. Which is what I complained about in my Gentrification of Washington Heights video, where, yeah, 
Washington Heights went from being this place for whites to Dominicans trying to escape to Rio, and now it's a place for hipsters. So that's what this is. Instead of trying to appeal to Dominican nature of Washington Heights, they're trying to take a bunch of Hispanics and giving them take the most hipsterific Hispanics. Which is the vibe I sort of get from all these people anyway. Someone put it best that if they were described as show it'd be like if they took a bunch of hipsters from Brooklyn and put them in Washington Heights. And that really is basically a show in a nutshell. Because everyone really is concerned about their fashion sense more than anything else. Not really concerned that about how annoying some characters are or how weird they are. Imagine if the Jersey Shore was based solely on the Guido aspect. And how forget the Guido aspect, just just the style. It in and of itself. The kind of shirts that they wear, the brand names, just how it all comes together. It basically fall flat on its feet. Or how about the hills? I mean, that was Beverly Hills, L.A., Laguna Beach. I can name a bunch of shows. Uh, they did the reality show a few years back on Harlem. Imagine if it was always based on commercializing a fashion trend that doesn't even match the neighborhood just because that's all people care about now. It's how people dress. I mean, go to Tumblr. I this Tumblr for its constant teen angst. That was a major aspect of one of my videos in later 2012. Uh, one relating to pain versus pleasure. How uh, the less this attitude in Tumblr that the less you care, the less you get hurt, and just my critique of that. There's that critique. There's the cutters. That critique I made in the beginning of the year. Uh, the the weird leftism, and how. It just goes into identity politics so strongly, and it, there's just so much layering to the faults of Tumblr, but one of the worst things is the themes. Every Tumblr account has a theme. It's uh, how soft grunge, for example, or these other weird th themes, hipster blogs, party blogs, where certain things are commercialized. They take photos of certain cans of beverages in black and white or some other filter, some specific type of outfit and a hot guy or female wearing them in a specific occasion. There's different ways that they try to suck you in. There's also swag fag themes and things of that nature. In general, you can find that Tumblr basically is what this show is in a nutshell. It's This show is basically a fashion and style theme. It's an expression. It's self-expression without the self. Instead, you're basically being violently sucked into it. And that's sort of my attempt at trying to make sense of all of this. All in all, episode 7 couldn't possibly be a good episode. Because they gave Ludwin some more screen time. I don't like that shit. Fuck it. But why would you do that? After one episode where I don't get to see Ludwin and it's my favorite episode, the best episode by far. And then you put him back. And you put him back with uh, Frankie's storyline. That, that's not cool. Why? 
It's so more thing. This whole show was Audubon's idea, and that's why the production value was all put together with him. And I could understand it in that sense. It makes more sense when it's just an inside going out MTV thing because that just means that he's doing what he's got to do to make it big. And he's going to try and bring his friends along trying to make them big too. And the whole talent show thing was what really pissed me off about episode one because I was expecting this show to be about life in the heights. And I didn't get that vibe. I got this hipsterific vibe that really pissed me off. And the whole talent show thing. Hey, look at me. I have skill. I, I don't feel it. I'd rather have that raw, this is how life in the heights is kind of vibe. And I'm not going to get it from this show. That, that That's it. And I'm not going to whine about that. Because who cares? It's not that big of a deal. It's Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick.